you purchase this machine like I have online, you'll know that it comes with no instruction whatsoever. Um, so with all my research, I have found how to use this and I'm going to share it with you. First, after you hook up all the connections, which is pretty self-explanatory, but I will make another video with a close-up of the machine so that you can see the screens and all the connections. Um, so if you haven't watched that first, then go back and watch that one first. So once you get the machine, you're going to turn it on in the back, the black on button. Um, I couldn't figure out what to do after that because you don't, the screen never changes. So in order to get the screen to change to your settings, you just have to tap the screen. Uh, before you use this, uh, one thing to remember that's very important is that you do need to be very hydrated for this to work. And it does take about a week of drinking six to eight glasses of water a day to get hydrated enough to really get results from this machine. Um, first, you have your laser lipo paddles, and you're going to use those. They say about once a week. You can use those in, um, on your arms, your stomach, legs, hips, and they just put them onto the area wherever you want, all of them, use all of them, and then just belt them around with these belts that come with the machine. Uh, when you do that, you'll choose on here, which I'll show you again later in the video, the laser lipo, and then belt them all on. And then they say to start with the lowest setting first and then work your way up through the week. I start with the high, I, I've been using the highest. Um, but the difference is, is that you're going to see when you watch the other video on the screen, there's three different modes. Those are the modes that you actually change so that your body doesn't get used to it. So it will continuously um, keep showing results. With this one, hydration is important, but hydration afterwards and exercise is very important. So really after you're using this one, you should do 30 minutes of exercise because what this one does is actually doesn't kill the fat cell, but it makes the fat cell leak. So it leaks out and then you want to get rid of all that stuff it leaked because they say, I don't know how true it is, but where it leaks, that it could actually, if you don't get up and start burning it off and getting it out of the body with water, that you can actually make a fat spot there. So I don't know how true that is or not, but it makes sense. Um, next, so you want to do that one once, once a week for eight weeks, they say. I did it way more than that, but that's whatever. Um, the next you have here, and this is your cavitation. I found that I had to do it on very, very low setting because I could feel it in my head and my ears ringing and it was giving me a headache. And I don't know, I don't know how healthy that is for you. But the purpose of this one is to actually, it, it causes the cells, the fat cells, to shake so rapidly that they bump into each other and they explode. So if you are not hydrated enough for this one, it will not work. The cells have to be nice and hydrated, they bump into each other and they explode. Otherwise it's not going to work. So very, very hydrated for at least a week of drinking at least 80 ounces of water, then do this one if you want it to work. Um, so this one, you cannot use anywhere near the heart. So you really don't want to touch any bones with it either. So if, if you're going to do the stomach with this one, it's going to be just in this shape here. You're not going to be rubbing it on any of the um, rib cage. You're definitely not going to go anywhere in the chest area at all. And um, I did try it on my arms. I don't know. I probably would never go back to the arm again. I think it's a little bit too close to the heart. Um, and with this too, you're going to do the, an, either an up and down motion, pushing it to the lymph nodes that are here because you want to push everything out, down, down. Sometimes I'll put a little bit of a circular motion in there, but then you're gonna follow it up again. You're gonna push down towards the lymph nodes. And with this one, you have to use gel. Here's your gel here. You have to put gel all over the area first. You cannot use this without putting gel on the area first. And actually, this is just an ultrasound machine gel. I, actually, I bought like a humongous 10 pound thing of it. I just keep refilling this. Very important, you have to use it with gel. After you do this one for 30 minutes, you can follow it up with the RF for the body. This does like skin tightening and also a little bit of fat loss. Again, if you do not have gel on, you will burn the skin the minute it touches it. Once the gel's on, you don't feel it at all. 
if you hit even a spot that doesn't have gel, very, very hot and uncomfortable. This one, same thing. You can do circle patterns, stomach, but you constantly want to make sure that after you do the circles, you're going back down towards the lymph nodes so the lymph nodes can process the fat out. And again, lots of hydration afterwards. Um, this one you can use anywhere. You can use it here, arms, wherever you want. You can do thighs, legs. Same, the cavitation, I would just stick with thighs and stomach and maybe like butt area. Um, this one you can do pretty much anywhere. It does, like I said, the skin tightening. So sometimes after the cavitation on the stomach, you can follow it with this one, do a session of that, all in the same day. And then right after, you can follow it with this one. This is the vacuum. So this one um, actually sucks the hard to reach fatty areas into this. So it'll suck it up and it has the little um, skin tightening on it here and it also will have like the red light too. The thing with this one though is you don't want to have um, gel all over you. So I do this one last because you need to wipe the gel off. If you don't, it sucks up into here and then it ruins your whole machine. So mine did that, it all stopped working and then after, I waited for about a week for it all to dry out and then it worked again. So very, you don't want to have a bunch of thick gel on the skin. I just put just a little I leave it moist, you know, I wipe off most of the gel, I leave it a little bit moist so this doesn't burn the skin, but it's really not that bad. You can use it without gel. I do, I use it without gel a lot. And same thing, you can do this one, legs, stomach, arms, you can do this one everywhere. For the face, you have the small RF. You can do this one all over the face, circles. You do circles this way. Again, you have to have gel for this. You can do under here, you can also use, there's a small paddle that comes with this, you can put under here, or the big one for the double chin. The face, this is for like getting into the smaller areas, and then you have a little bit bigger one. Same thing, circles, circles with this. Make sure you have lots of gel. Well, you'll know when you don't have gel in an area, because as soon as you hit it, it's like a hot burning knife. Again, Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate before and after, and exercise. Exercise is very, very important with these. Um, if you can't tolerate this one, the cavitation one, I have to do it on such a low one. I don't even really like using it that much. And that's it. Like and subscribe. Thank you.